Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. So, is your posture holding back your guitar player? Is how you sit, stand and hold the guitar compromising how easy it is to sound clean and clear? If you look like this, or this, or this, then the answer is yes, and you can probably do better. If you're new here, my name's Chris, and here we do instructional technique videos on guitar, drums and bass, reviews of the music equipment that I use, and general content about my life as a professional musician and music teacher. So if you like what you see and that sounds interesting, please consider liking the video and hit the subscribe button because it's really going to help the channel out. So, how we sit and hold the guitar when we're practicing or performing is vital because what we want is a clear sound, chords ringing clearly, so it's easy to play, and we mustn't forget that we want to prevent injury as well. In my approach to playing guitar, or indeed any instrument, is that what we need to do is adapt how we sit or how we stand to be as natural as possible, to match the ergonomics of our body. We're not trying to contort ourselves around the instrument, what we need to do is hold the instrument so it's as natural as it can be for us. You can see that if this just sits on my lap, okay, it looks fairly natural. The problem we've got is that our left hand, or our left wrist more specifically, is actually bent. Now how we sit or stand and hold the guitar is important because this is uncomfortable and might result in an injury. The way we're going to approach this today will probably be at odds with the pictures that you'll see of people with the guitar slung low or slouched down like this. Because what we're going to try to do is make this wrist a little bit straighter. So it's all to do with the ergonomics of our left wrist. Okay, now I'm not a medical person, but what I do know is that if this wrist is bent, then all the ligaments or tendons or whatever they are that are driving our fingers are having to go around a bit of a corner. And that can lead to stress and strain and injury. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reference back to how classical guitarists would hold their guitars. They will use a footstool. Now the idea is, if I just sit sideways here, the footstool goes on the floor, our left leg goes up on it, and what this does is it raises the guitar from being down here to up here. Now, what has that done? See, my left wrist is now a lot straighter. So I'm down here, it's bent. If it's up here, it's now straighter. So, footstool's on the floor, left leg is on it. And what's that done? That's raised the whole thing up. The footstool on the floor, raises my left leg, probably six to eight inches, and the guitar rests over on your left leg. Normally you would sit, probably most naturally, with it on your right leg. The guitar is gonna rest upon our left leg, so it's raised the neck, and in turn, it has straightened my wrist. See? In my previous video, talking about bar chords and open chords, what we'll have seen is have the importance of having our fingertips rather than the flat pads of our fingers, because obviously, we want all the strings to ring clearly. Now, the thing is, if your guitar neck is down here, you're having to force your wrist forward, it's bent, in order to get your fingertips down. So the chances are, you will actually end up flattening your fingers down and muting some of the strings. This is why it's important to pull the neck of the guitar back and up. I appreciate that you might not want to sit with your left leg in the air and the guitar over here, like classical guitarists. That is the most ergonomic way to do it, but also it's a little bit unnatural, maybe if you're not used to it. So what we can do to get the neck of the guitar back and up is we can firstly cross your right leg, if you're right-handed, over your left leg and put the guitar on it there. So see what's happened? It was down here, now it's up here. It's just enough to bring the neck up and back. We've got our fingertips down there. The other thing you can do, the footstool 
can go under your right leg instead of your left leg and it raises the, your right leg up there you probably haven't got a footstool maybe just cross your legs it's nice and clean and clear one thing that I counter commonly with my students is that they will sit with the guitar in the down position, both legs on the floor, not lifted, and they'll be leaning forward on their leg like this. Okay, really comfortable, but just look what it's done to my wrist angle. And then they wonder why they can't play clean chords, clean lines, and why the wrist hurts. Again, neck of the guitar back and up. Cross your legs, there it is. Concentrate on the angle of your wrist. Get it as straight as you can. And if you can do that, your fingertips. Oh, crossing my legs. Not like this. Okay, so don't slouch like this on the sofa because you have to reach forward, no fingertips. And also, if you're having a guitar on a strap, and this is quite important really because normally See, there's my strap, that's my strap length. It actually hangs with the neck back and up. It's quite high up on my body. If it's down here, okay, like you'll commonly see, how can that be comfortable? Okay, it might look cool and rock and roll, but it really isn't the best way to do it. So, the mantra here is, concentrate on the angle of your left wrist and your fingertips. And you will only be able to do that if you raise the neck of the guitar back and up. And I do it by crossing my legs, but you can use a footstool on your right leg or a footstool on your left leg. Okay guys, so that's about it for today, just a short video. It's all about intentional practice. So when you're sitting down to actually practice, don't just pick the guitar up, slouch down on the sofa or um, any chair, just sloppily sitting there with the neck away from you. Think about having the proper setup, and as we've said, wrist angles, neck of guitar, back towards you, and up, cross your legs, the right leg or supporting leg of the guitar over the left leg, or put your right leg, the supporting leg on a footstool, or if you want to sit like the classicals, move it to your left leg and raise that up. Okay? So really, it's about not being lazy, because honestly, it will make a massive difference. So, thanks ever so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. There's more similar content to follow. And if you've got any questions, engage with me in the comments. And thanks very much for watching today. Cheers, guys. Bye.